Welcome back, everyone, to another incredible episode of Chat with Dan. Now, before we start, I just want to thank you so much for taking the time to check this out. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, follow. It helps a lot. And again, thank you. Have an incredible day or evening, depending where you are. And I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe. So, welcome back, everyone, to another incredible episode of Chat with Dan. For today, we have on the show the incredible, the amazing, the badass superstar, Diane. Diane, how are you today? I'm good. How are you? They're fantastic. I mean, what better way to have an epic evening uh, to be chatting as some, with someone as bad as you know what I mean? <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, before we start, I just want to thank those who are watching this. Thank you so, so much. If this is your first episode, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, follow. It helps a lot. A lot, trust me. And if this is your fifth one or sixth one, keep watching them. Spread, you know, share them with friends and family. And without further more, let's get started. So for those who don't know, who is the incredible, amazing, badass superstar that I am, please tell us who you are. Well, I am an actress based in Los Angeles. I am originally from Spain. I moved here in 2017. Um, and I normally like to say that first because when they hear my accent, it's like, oh, where are you from? Uh, they can mm. never pinpoint where I'm from. <laughs> Some people say, oh, are you French? Are you German? Um, so that way, you know, the incognita goes away um so yeah and other than that I'm a huge nerd I mean you can probably tell you know by some things in my background um and you know I'm a gamer I enjoy video games comics you know all about nerd and yeah that's a little bit about me um I'm sure there's a lot of things I could say but I don't know <laughs> well what, what can I say I love it it's super cool the fact that you love video games and everything I mean, let me just tell mm -hmm. you that that uh, that you're preaching to the choir. So, oh, good, good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I love it too. Uh, right. So, let's go back in time a little bit here and tell me where this passion for acting started. Started really early. Um, you know, when when I I said that I wanted to officially, you know, uh, start this, two of my childhood friends said, "We're not surprised." Um, okay. because they knew since I was really little that it was something that I always loved. I mean, all my time when I was, you know, um, by myself was going to watching movies. I remember my mother bought me for Christmas the three Lord of the Rings um, extended version, mm -hmm. you know, movies like the, the DVD, the pack, and they came with a lot of CDs and all the behind the scenes. Well, I spent hours and hours just watching absolutely everything. Because, you know, I wanted to know how everything worked. Um, I wanted to see the actors doing their job. And, you know, it's something that I was always passionate about. To me, it was just like an adventure. Mm. So um, that's when the the idea started. Then, you know, time goes by. I did a lot of things. I had a band. Um, I started photography. So I've been kind of like jack of all trades. I always like to do artistic things. And that was a little bit in the background, always. Like, you know, yeah. I would like to do this one day. But it's difficult to believe in yourself, you know, and yeah. there's so many people doing it. Um, but once I, I moved here, I said, I have no excuse anymore. You know, I do have to do this. And um, at first, I just did like a film class. I wanted to explore, you know, everything about it, to know, you know, behind and in front of the camera. I did my first short film. I directed, right? I written the, that short film, and and I was the, the lead. And that was that was an experience. Um, I the fear of seeing myself in screen was a little bit like it made me kind of like take some steps back mm -hmm. and say, mm -hmm. I don't know if I want to do this because again the doubt. And it took me a little bit of thinking, but I said, you know. I, I need to do it. And if I don't like seeing myself in camera, I just I don't watch myself because oh, yeah. I really want to do this. And it's the experience what I love. So, so yeah. And then, you know, the whole ordeal that we all go through auditions and, you know, prepare your materials, find a manager and find an agent. And yeah, that's, that's what we all go through. But yeah, that's how I got there. That's badass. Just saying. <laughs> Now, how, like, what were some of the challenges <clears throat> that that you have when you move to another country? I mean, new country, language, culture, like total opposite here. So how so how challenging was for you those let's say first couple of months? 
Oof, a lot of things that I didn't expect uh, because, you know, I'm from Madrid. It's a huge city, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a city like can be like LA or New York. Yeah. And I was like, it can be that different, right? And I grew up watching American movies and American culture. I always loved it. Mm. Um, so I didn't expect it to be so different as it is um, because the major challenge that I still have today after years here is the way people socialize here and the way we socialize in Spain. We are mm. all about socializing, right? Like we are constantly out and about with friends. Um, mm -hmm. And here I feel that everyone is so in working, 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 that it's so difficult to find the time to hang out with people. Mm, um, okay. That's been one of my, you know, the major challenge of moving here. And another thing is I love walking. I love walking everywhere. And here in LA, it's impossible. You need the car for everything. So that yeah. those were like my <laughs> the major things that I encountered yeah, when I moved. Here. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it can be challenging moving to a place in which you know things are totally different. You know, I can I can mm -hmm. totally understand what you mean. I mean, it happened to me when I moved to Germany, and everyone was walking. I was like, what? You know. <laughs> But then later on, you get used to that lifestyle, and then when you get back, you're like. I miss walking, you know, so I can understand those um, those cultural changes here and there. That's really cool. Yeah. Now, focusing a little bit on your acting career, tell me how you prepare a character. Of course, I understand that it depends on the character. But what is your initial approach when you are about to dive in into this process? Well, I'm a little bit of an analytical person in general. Okay. Um, and I I do love learning from people you know, that have been here and have been doing this for years. And I had great teachers that gave me the tools that I, I never imagined that I needed, right? Because a lot of people, when they think acting, well, you just, you know, you just act. It's not like that. Um, or at least for me. Yeah. And something that I, I got from my, you know, my teacher, my, I, I Doug, he's the greatest, was, um, you need to ask questions to that character right mm, you need to mm -hmm. know to get to know that person so you just um write a, a lot of questions all the questions that you will ask to someone that you you know you want to get to know um and once you know that person and obviously you're building it yourself because you don't have all the answers when you get a breakdown right they just give you you yeah. know this amount of information so you build it yourself you ask those questions and then you can compare what are the things that that character might have that I do have in my personality? Mm -hmm. What do we have in common? What can I pull from? You know, in the emotions that that character might have, what can I pull from that? Um, so that is part of my process. Um, and sometimes it's challenging because there are things that that character might have that I do not. And this is something funny. Um, one time I was preparing a character with my coach and and I said, well, that I just don't know how to be angry. And he started laughing. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not an angry person. It's really difficult for me. Um, so he said, what you need to pull from, there's probably something that really bothers you. You really need to pull from that. Mm -hmm. um, so sometimes it's challenging because you need to find those moments, right? There's, there's, We experience everything. Even if we don't think it's part of us, there's something, a memory or something you can, you can pull from. So that's normally, you know, my process, just finding the, the things that I can emphasize with that character and then trying to pull all the, the emotion, emotions from it. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's a, it's a whole, it's a whole different process of my, of what some people might think that is just learn your lines and good to go. You know what I mean? I, and I find amazing when like the whole variety of, the, of different characters you get the chance to play. I mean, we're talking teacher, cop, nurse, doctor, lawyer, mm -hmm. superhero, goth, demigod, you know, like things like that. I find yeah. that pretty cool, the variety of things that you get the chance to, to play, which is fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I mean, again, there's a story behind all those characters, so Absolutely. and you get to build it, which is great. Amazing. Now, has it ever happened to you that during this process of creating a character, you got stuck? And if that happened to you, how you managed to overcome the situation and keep creating? 
Yes, then I think it happens pretty often to all of us because, as I said, there are things that you don't know where to pull from, right? Yeah. Like, how do you, how can you emphasize with a murder, uh, murder, or um, I don't know, someone who has done something that you will never do? Mm. Um, so we do get a lot of those moments, and I can say personally, you know, I always loved and I always wanted to play the bad one because it's so opposite to me but it's yeah. every time yeah. i get you know one of those roles i know it's gonna be a challenge and i enjoy it i i enjoy challenges that's yeah, you know that's where, where you learn um and also i would say a challenge at the beginning i i think i overcame that already um uh, was a i thought i wasn't good for comedy i'm a super silly person but i thought that you know acting in comedy wasn't my thing mm. and my coach said you're actually really good at comedy. And I was like, what are you talking about? Because I felt so embarrassed. And that's one of the things also that you had to overcome as an actor. And uh, we had to do it pretty often. The being embarrassed, right? Because you're going to do things that you wouldn't, you wouldn't do in normal life. And comedy is high stakes. And yeah. we don't like the high stakes because, yeah, no. again, we're being <laughs> too silly too. Mm -hmm. um, so you do have to get, you know, through that every single time. And it's just, it's kind of like a mental exercise every yeah. single time of thinking, um, this is not me, this is a character and it's fine. This is what we need to do. But it's a lot of mental preparation for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. Now, during your acting career at the moment, what has been some of the funniest auditions you ever had? Or perhaps that audition that maybe in that moment it wasn't that fun, but right now, you know, it's a fun story. Um, I think that the the ones that I find the most yeah funny I would say more than fun are commercials because sometimes mm. you know you had to yeah. do the the, oh, yeah. <laughs> the silliest things. Um, and one time I asked my my husband to help me. Okay. Uh, we needed to do an audition for a commercial for a theme park. Okay. And you know you had to get off the bus and you had to look like oh my god I love this place um so we were like doing take after take just laughing because it would be like so stupid like getting out of the bus and, and it was like oh. <laughs> so excited and it was like ridiculous and it kept getting more ridiculous it's I mean it's the fun you know part of it right you get to yeah. have fun with with it um but commercials commercials tend to be really silly and really fun mm -hmm. for sure yeah absolutely I have, I have I mean whenever you will watch a commercial it's funny for the reactions right if they're eating something and you're like nobody would react like that or you know yep. like yeah I can understand <laughs> that that's funny okay now let's say that one day I call you and I tell you that I want to mm -hmm. become an actor now uh -huh. I don't have zero experience at all so based on what you know what do you think would be important for me to know before starting this career Well, I think we all have a different way to start and there's so many advice out there, right? Uh, yeah. And some people might tell you do this and another person, no, don't do that, uh, which I have encountered several times. I think the best advice you can give to someone who just started is be patient mm. because this is not going to happen overnight and it might not happen in five years and 10 years, you never know. Yeah. Uh, but don't don't lose hope because a lot of people drop it because they just think it might never happen and you never know when it's going to be the, the time. Um, so be patient and be humble because a lot of people also get in the business thinking, I know everything and you don't. And you need to keep learning. Uh, learn from a lot of people, learn from the people that have been here the, you know, the longest. And don't ever stop learning. Don't ever start going to classes, even if you make it really high. Even if you're an A-list, keep learning. Things change. It's like any other job. Things change and evolve, mm -hmm. and you always need to learn more. Um, the rest of advice I can give, you know, like get your headsets, get your real, you know, apply everywhere, make connections that, you know, people say, which about that, um, you know, it's the culture of make connections because yeah. that's where you're going to find that. Yeah, of course. But I would say more than that, the more than looking for those connections to, you know, to make it, enjoy those connections because you can meet a lot of amazing people and people that can become, you know, your friends forever. Uh, all my friends, my best friends have been through creative things that I've done, mm -hmm. photography, you know, acting, music, um, because 
just artists are the greatest people to me. So yeah, absolutely. Wow. Okay. I'll take that into consideration if I ever want to become an actor. Count on it. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> now let's say that one day Netflix, Disney Plus, HBO Max. I mean, you name it. They call you and they tell you that they have this idea, which goes that all of the characters you have played at the moment, they're all gonna gather to celebrate your birthday. <laughs> but the film needs a name so how would you call it you know i am not really good with titles i'm the worst <laughs> okay um but if i had to put all the characters i played i would say the weirdest birthday party ever would be the best i know <laughs> i like that okay because i think i've played like such different characters so far and, and i love it um but yeah it would be a a weird uh party mm. full of different people <laughs> I like that. Yeah, it sounds it sounds like a comedy, right? Like a uh, like a dark comedy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. Now, what about describing your whole career, but on a mm -hmm. drink? How would you call it, mm -hmm. and what would it have? Um, I'm not a big drinker, I have to say. So I don't know a lot of names, but I'm gonna go with one that is super popular right now everywhere, and I'm gonna call it Negroni because <laughs> mm, yeah, <laughs> okay. sexy. Yeah. Um and I can say my career is sexy, it's fun and it's exciting. So let's call it Negroni. <laughs> that's that's classy, you say. Okay. <laughs> I like it. Okay. I like it. I like mm -hmm. it. Now, what motivates you? You know, we all have those days, right? In which we just want to quit. And it happens no matter what you do, you know, acting, music, photography, yeah. uh, painting, whatever. I mean, you want to quit. So what usually pulls you out from those toxic thoughts and pushes you back again on this road that you have been in for so many years now? Um, usually, and yes, I do have all those up and downs and, you know, you talk to your friends and they have it too, so it makes you feel yeah. better. And when I have those times that I'm like, not like I want to give up, uh, but, you know, that you feel a little bit like, I don't know if I'm in the right path. Um it might sound silly, but it just helps me sitting down and watching my favorite movies because I want to be part of it. And yeah. it's like, you know, when you're little and you go to the movies and you get out of it feeling like a superhero, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. every single time to me, every single time. If I just sit down and watch a good movie, it just, it brings me that hope again. Like, I just want to be part of it. So I have yeah. to keep trying. Absolutely. I mean, at the end of the day, it's going to be difficult, but I do think that that happens in every thing that we want to create right i mean it's mm -hmm. it's it's part of the whole experience for you to feel like that and i think it's also kind of healthy for you to at the same time kind of get away a little bit so you can you know uh, distract your mind on something else and then come back otherwise yeah you're gonna feel burnout immediately so absolutely yeah, yeah. and my last question what can mm -hmm. we expect from you in the future hit it Oh, a lot of things, hopefully. <laughs> there you go. Um, my, you know, my dream when it comes to acting is I hope one day to be like Kate Blanchett. <laughs> um, right. I'm just going to put it out there and manifest it. Uh, mm. She's like my favorite actress. I just want to do a lot of sci-fi and uh, fantasy, which is, you know, where my heart is. So hopefully you'll see me out there and, um, doing a lot of nerd stuff. <laughs> I love it. And that's going to happen. I'm super sure that our next conversation is going to be about one, the thousand projects you have been in, and two, the next super villain on the next MCU or something like that. <laughs> that <we> can, <laughs> that's going to happen. But you know, at the end of the day, I do, I do. I mean, I'm, I'm impressed the fact that you left your country, friends, family behind, mm -hmm. and took a risk on going to another continent, also and try something of it you know try following your passion i mean it's it's challenging of course and i'm super sure there were moments in which you were this close to go back <laughs> because you were you know you you didn't know what to do but the manage that you stayed and you keep working and you managed to make things happen i mean that's pretty cool but also it shows that everything can be possible you know when you really want mm -hmm. something and you understand the challenges that they're gonna happen on the road you still doing it just to make it happen i mean that's why that's why i say that you're badass because that's badass i mean not not everyone would be like you know what i'm gonna move to another country following my passion or something like that you know mm -hmm. yeah i mean absolutely well i also moved here because 
because of love. <laughs> of course. I mean, that's um, that's also challenging too, you know, because of the risk. Yeah. Oh, of... yeah, it was. Well, there you go. So, uh, I mean, at the end of the day, what, what, what can I say? I love what you do. Keep doing what you do. It is, it is amazing. It's super creative and super inspirational too. I also want to thank those who watched this episode. Thank you so, so much for watching it. Um, make sure, well, since this episode is about to be done, on the description below, you're going to follow, I mean, you're going to find uh, Diane social media. Let's make her viral. Come on, hashtag Team Diane because she's incredible. She's amazing. And again, thank you so, so much for making this happen. Keep creating, keep inspiring, keep, be, keep being this amazing badass super person you always are and i'll see you in the next one thank you <laughs> all right <laughs>